we're making a library will. If everyone donates their favourite book, then others can borrow them and read them too. Great! I'll go and find my super speed annual. Everyone should definitely read that. And I'll go and tell everyone about the library. <gasps> my little beehive keyring. It's gone. That one looks like an angry bear. And that one looks a bit like you, Oakley. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. I've come to tell you all about my new library. If everyone brings their favourite book, I'll put it in the library so others can borrow it. That's a wonderful idea, Holly. Let's go and get our books now, Raggles. Oh, but you don't have a book, do you, Oakley? No, but why don't you all do a show and tell before bed and tell me why you like your favourite books so much? That's a great idea. Come on, Raggles. I'll go and tell Will about tonight. Bye, Oakley. My Dancing Dolphins book. It's my favourite. Uh, Rosie, this book's got nothing in it. Oh, that's my scrapbook. I really must find something to put in it. Oh, I'm never going to find a book to put in Holly's library. What am I going to talk about tonight? Why don't you write a new story? Oh, of course. That's exactly what I'll do. I'm going to write the best book ever. Great! I'll leave you to it. I'll go and read my book at the picnic area. Hmm. Look for inspiration. It's all around me. But where is it? Maybe it's under here. Or here. Hmm. Strange. Someone must have dropped it. What an amazing car! Oh, that's nice. Oh, but it's no good. I just can't do it. I can't write a story. And I won't have anything to talk about at the show and tell. Yes, thanks. I just sat on something uncomfortable. And I still can't find anything to write a story about. Oh, Raggles. Safi said inspiration is all around me if I look for it. But I have everywhere. And I can't see it. Maybe Safi's right. Look. We're going to make a book, Raggles. But what will I put in it? You're going to use the things you found to help you think of a story. Let's start with this. Now, think of something that goes with the car. Uh, once upon a time, there was a boy called Will who was mad about going fast. Good start. <laughs> I think I might be able to do this, Rosie. <laughs> because flowers provide food for insects and they can cheer people up. And that's why everyone should borrow my flower book from the library. Hooray! 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 Yay! Oh, thank you, Holly. It sounds like a lovely book. And now 
It's time for Raggles to tell us about his book. Um, uh, this book is a bit different. I made it myself. Oh, that's my picture. This book is made with things I found around the garden. If they belong to anyone and you want them back, just say. Let's hear the story first. Yes. Carry on, Raggles. We want to hear. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Will who loved to go fast. Vroom, vroom. That's me. One day, his friend Rosie was collecting a jar of honey from Big Bear's beans when a cheeky rabbit ran off with it. <gasps> Will picked Rosie up in his super fast Speedatron 3000 and they chased the rabbit to the lake. There, they found their friend Holly picking pretty flowers for her picture frame. That's my posy. I thought I'd lost it. Rosie and Will arrived, but the cheeky rabbit hopped into a boat and sailed off with the honey. But Holly knew just what to do. With a special whistle, she called her friend Daisy Dolphin. Hooray! <laughs> Rosie and Will jumped onto her back, and with a flick of her tail, they gave chase. Finally, the cheeky rabbit stopped at the riverbank, and there were all of Will and Holly's friends. The cheeky rabbit had arranged a surprise picnic, complete with delicious honey sandwiches for everyone to share. <laughs> the end! That's my beehive key ring. You found it. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Here you go, Big Bear. No. You keep it. But your key ring is really precious. I know, but it's even more precious as part of your story. OK, I'll put the book in Holly's library so everyone can borrow it and see their things whenever they want. I think we should call it The Book of Lost and Found. Oh, those colours! Oh, it's lovely. Rosie is so kind. And what about my first delivery as a postbird? Not bad, eh? I've got a picture for Rosie to say thanks. Wait there, please, Manny. Can you take it to Oakley's Hill? You can post it there. Post it? But what should I put it in? Um, do you have an old cardboard box, Holly? Um... <laughs> oh, this is a post box, not a trampoline. How does that feel? <laughs> Comfy? A little tickly on the old bark. <laughs> but I'm so excited, I don't mind. Here come your first pieces of post. Oh, hi, Holly. Oh, who are they for? Can't you guess, Oakley? Let's see. Rosie, Big Bear, Will, Bluebird, Raggles. Yes. Oh, mustn't forget these. We can't post letters without stamps. Ah, good thinking, Holly. Time for my deliveries. Thanks, Oakley. Thanks, Oakley. I love sending things to my friends. It's even more fun than receiving them. Oh, glad to be of service. Oh, I can't wait for my first letter. What's going on here? Letter for you. Oh. Manny's delivering the post bluebird. He's our first ever post bird. What? But I'm much better at flying than him. I'd be a much better post bird. Oh, this will look so pretty. Beep, beep, beep. Out of the way, Holly. Post box coming through. <laughs> That's really good, Will. Yep. Now let's see who gets more letters, you or me. It depends how many letters you send, Will. Fly! Fly! Fly plane! Oh dear, poor Raggles. 
I'm busy making a post box, otherwise I'd help. I don't need any help. Shame it can't flap its wings, really. Fly! 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 Oh, hello, Manny. Looks like I've got my post box ready just in time. There you go, Big Bear. Well, if anyone's a post bird, it should be me. Excuse me? It was my idea. Oakley had the idea too. Hey, you two. The important thing is everyone gets their post safely. And quickly. And I'm a lot faster than you'll ever be. Let's see, shall we? Last one to Teal's nest is a feather duster. I got there first. You did not. Tell him, Teal. Never mind that. You squashed my post box. Excuse me. Some of us have urgent post duties to carry out. No. I get so many visitors now on a post box tree. <laughs> I think your post box is about to get quite heavy, Oakley. Oh, I don't mind. I just want everyone to get their post safe and sound. I'm going to get so many letters. Me too. Well done, Oakley. This is the best idea ever. <sighs> Hey, you can't take them all. I want to deliver some. Hey, mine. Go and clean something, you big feather duster. Oh, no posty, no posty, posty. Posty. Oakley, Oakley not, not happy. happy. <gasps> We've forgotten Oakley. This was his idea, but we haven't sent him any letters. Don't worry, we will. What are we going to do, Rosie? Can you fetch some paper and crayons, please, Holly? <laughs> Don't forget the stamps. Ready? One, two, three. Shops away! What's this? <laughs> Post for me? And this one's from Big Bear. I've never had post before. Would you help me send thank you letters, Holly? Of course. You're the best post box tree ever. Bedtime story, would you like, Raggles? The one about trains? Um, no thanks, Rosie. Tigers? The moon? I've heard all those hundreds of times. I want a new story. All right, let me think. Once upon a time, there was a little red panda. There was a little red panda and he wanted to be as brave as a lion. <laughs> he walked a long, long way across a hot, dry desert. <gasps> then he found a little rowing boat and began to cross the big, wide ocean. Rosie! Rosie! Whoa. What is it, Raggles? What happened next to the red panda? I could hardly sleep. It's the best story ever. Oh, OK. Well, the red panda came to a huge snowy mountain. Up and up he climbed, when suddenly... the red panda slipped on the ice. <gasps> He tumbled down, but he wasn't hurt. Phew! Then a wise blue owl came to see him. She said, follow me 
and I will show you where to find the gift of bravery. Oh! Then she flew off, too fast for the red panda to follow. And then what happened? I promised I'd help Holly. I'll tell you at bedtime. Oh, I can't wait until bedtime. Shame you haven't got skates of your own, Big Bear. We could skate together. Um, uh, yes, a uh, shame. I will. Hi, Big Bear. You've got to hear this story. Rosie made it up. OK. What's it about? A red panda. Ready? Once upon a time, there was a red panda who wanted to be as brave as a lion. Then... <coughs> Who is this red panda? He's not real. It's a made-up story. Oh, I love stories. Go on, Raggles. I've made you roller skates, Big Bear. Now we can skate together. Oh, uh, um, thanks. Oh, oh, I wish I knew how Rosie's story ends. Me too. Raggles told me about the wise blue owl. And the little acorns want to hear the story too. <laughs> <sighs> I have to wait till bedtime to know how it ends. Maybe if we all go and ask Rosie, she'll tell us now. Yes! Great idea! Why don't you skate, Big Bear? Oh, uh, I think I'll try them later. I'm busy helping Holly right now. I want to know how the story ends too. Come on, Rosie. What happened when the red panda chased after the wise blue owl? All right. I'll tell you. <gasps> um, I'll tell you later. When? At the end of the day, at the showground. Yes. Thanks, Rosie. <laughs> You're so lucky, Rosie. You already know how it ends. Big Bear, go on stage so I can test my spotlight. Oh, uh, me? On stage? Um, uh... Don't worry, Big Bear. I'll do it. Quick, come with me. Uh, Holly, what's going on? We need to help Rosie and we don't have much time. Now, the grand finale of The Legend of the Red Panda by the greatest storyteller ever, Rosie! Rosie! <laughs> so, the Red Panda, he tried to find the wise blue owl and, um, then he... There's a change of plan. It's our turn to bring you the legend of the Red Panda. Oh, <gasps> it's the Red Panda. Um, <clears throat> I've travelled over the, um... Ocean. Ocean. And up a, um... Mountain. Yes. And I must find the wise blue owl. Only she can give me the gift of bravery. <gasps> can you fetch your best blue feather boa? I need to borrow it right away. Where, oh, where can the wise blue owl be? <gasps> it's me. Wise blue owl, to wit, to woo. <laughs> I don't need to give you the gift of bravery. You already are brave. You crossed the ocean. You climbed a mountain, and you came on stage in front of all your friends. You're the bravest big bear ever. <coughs> Red Panda. Oh, yes. Red Panda. Thank you, wise old Rosie. Um, uh, I mean, a wise blue owl. <laughs> Hooray for the Red Panda! And the wise blue owl! <laughs> <sighs> oh, 
Rosie, can you make up another story that comes true, like the Red Panda one? <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a blue rabbit who snuggled down in his hammock and went to sleep. <sighs> I'm not sleepy. I'm ready for a story. It's your turn to tell the story tonight. My stories come true. <laughs> we could do the pretty pink princess again. Oakley loved it when we did that show for him. Oh, no more pink, please. I think we should do a show with adventure in it, full of heroes. Oh, and magic. We need a story with parts for everyone. Hey, what's that? The prince and the dragon. Once, there was a beautiful princess. <laughs> who was kept prisoner in a cave by a fearsome dragon. Cool, dragon? The fearsome dragon was so scary that no one dared to rescue the princess. Until one day, a very brave prince... Brave prince? Oh, that's me! ...decided to rescue the princess. The prince had a friend who was a magician. Did someone say magician? Who told the prince he could beat the dragon if he used his greatest weapon. Ah, my sword! Your horse. The magician put a spell on your horse and made it the fastest horse in all the kingdom. So that Prince Will could rescue me, the beautiful princess. The dragon came out of his cave to meet the prince, but no matter how fast the dragon chased, the prince was faster. The dragon became so tired, he fell asleep and the prince was able to rescue the princess. Ah, this story will make a great show for Oakley. So, Rosie is the storyteller, I'm the magician, Will's the prince, Holly's the princess. What about the dragon? Oh, me! Aren't you a bit small? I'm not small, am I, Rosie? <laughs> I've seen real dragons, and they're enormous. Real dragons, Bluebird? <laughs> what about you, Big Bear? Fancy being a dragon? Not me. I'm busy building a stage for the show. If Michaels wants to be the dragon, we should let him have a go. Yippee! I haven't got any dragon costumes. Never mind, I'll make one. Ah, oh, let me help. I know exactly what dragons look like. The great magician Bluebird put a spell on Prince Will's horse to make it the fastest horse in the kingdom. Abra, Kazuma, Kohosa, Kohosaku! And so, Prince Will went to find... The dragon. <clears throat> the dragon. <laughs> oh, mighty dragon, you are far, far bigger than me. <clears throat> um. Craggles, <clears throat> you're meant to be really scary. I would be scarier if someone hadn't taken my tail. I had to make my cape out of something. And anyway, real dragons are huge and breathe fire and dragons are real. It's all right, Holly. Dragons are just pretend. <laughs> That's what you think. Real or not, the dragon's got to look really big and fierce. Sorry, Raggles. Maybe we could help you. I'm big enough to be a dragon all on my own. You just wait and see. No one will see me here. I'm going to make the best dragon outfit anyone has ever seen. You've made a great costume, Raggles. You were right, Will. I'm not big enough. 
You'd have to be four times bigger than me to be a good dragon. One, two, three, four. Four times bigger. That's it. Raggles, you've already made the best dragon costume. Don't you still want to be the best dragon? Yes, but then we'll all help you. Oh, this is fantastic. This will make you the fastest prince in the world. Thank you, oh mighty magician. So Prince Will galloped off to face the fierce dragon. What was that? Bravo! Rescue me, brave prince! Huh? Oh, uh, of course! Fear not, fair princess! Look out, Prince Will! Never fear! I'm the fastest, remember? Yes! It's getting closer! Don't worry, Manny. He's getting tired. <laughs> it's worked! The dragon's going to sleep! Brave Prince Will has rescued me! Hooray! Three cheers for Dragon Raggles, the best dragon there has ever been! <laughs> With a little help from my friends. 